Hello everyone. Until now, the Typhoon Hill toolchain has long supported system integration tests of batteries of different chemistries through its library of pre-built battery components. The legacy battery sources component in particular allows you to represent some general characteristics of specific battery chemistries that can be coupled with inverter components to model battery systems. Since this component is represented as a static model and models only the basic discharge curve it is insufficient for hill testing cases that require highly detailed modeling of battery systems on the DC side, such as a battery management systems and cell balancing modules. From the 2022.1 software version, this library is improved with the new battery cell component. The main motivation for this component is the growing need for highly capable battery models suitable for battery management system, cell monitoring, and module balancing testing. The battery cell component supports testing of state of health and temperature dependent parameters such as capacity, internal resistance, and coulombic efficiency, among others. Open circuit voltage can now also be dependent on temperature in addition to state of charge. Open circuit voltage hysteresis effects and transient dynamics due to slow diffusion processes are also included. The new battery cell component also enables various fault condition tests, self-discharge emulation, and the inclusion of balancing circuits. The battery cell component in Typhoon Hill Control Center represents the enhanced self-correcting equivalent circuit battery cell model. It is a state-of-the-art electrical representation of the physical processes naturally occurring inside the battery cell. Let's see how this component looks like and which functionalities are included. If we open Schematic Editor and navigate to the source library, we can find the battery cell component. Let's drag and drop this component into the model. By opening the component properties, you can see several tabs. In the Basic Parameters tab, you can define basic characteristics of the battery such as the state of charge vector, the nominal state of charge, temperatures, state of health, open circuit voltage, and internal resistance. Within this tab, you are also able to define number of cells in parallel as well as the nominal capacity of the battery system under test. Nominal capacity is defined by a combo box which lets you parameterize the battery cell total capacity by entering it directly, or by calculating it from the available discharge capacity. Choosing one option in this combo box will enable parameters corresponding to that option and disable parameters corresponding to the other option. The execution rate is the signal processing time step for calculating the cell terminal voltage, based on previous states and the input current. Within the Diffusion Processes tab, you can find the Model Order Combo Box which enables or disables up to three parallel connected resistor capacitor circuits. The values of resistors and capacitors are only applied if the respective properties are enabled. State of the art, real-time modeling of open circuit voltage hysteresis effects are also enabled in this component, which is important for replicating the battery cell behavior. If we check the Voltage Hysteresis tab, we can see that you can enable or disable Voltage Hysteresis implementation by choosing appropriate combo box value. The battery cell can be used without balancing, with a passive balancing circuit, or with a direct current input option for balancing, depending on your application. You can find out more details about the component implementation by double-clicking on the component and clicking on the Help button. Most parameters can be defined either as constants or as functions of temperature, state of charge, or state of health. Those data can be defined by using lookup tables. Memory utilization will depend on the amount of data points defined in the lookup tables. In terms of processing power, 150 to 300 series connected cells can be simulated on a single Hill 404 with an execution rate under 100 microseconds. Now let's see how it looks like in application. In this example, the battery cell component is used for testing an off-the-shelf battery management system. In this case the Orion Junior 2 BMS systems is tested. The model contains 12 battery cell components connected in series. Each cell has two inputs, temperature and balancing current. By entering the component properties, we can see the parameters and functionalities enabled for this application. These parameters compose to those for a Samsung battery which are exported from Orion software and applied to the battery cell model directly. For this specific battery type, 
the impact of diffusion processes wasn't taken into consideration. Input balancing is used to manage the direct current. The balancing current is an actual balancing current provided by the BMS and measured by our interface board. Now let's see how it looks in the simulation. On the left side is the Orion software and on the right side is Hillskata. Let's charge the battery by setting the charger current to minus 5 amperes. On both sides we can see the same behavior. The same thing can be tested by discharging battery. If we check the estimated state of charge in Orion we can conclude that it is equal the state of charge simulated in Hillskata. Let's summarize once again the benefits of the battery cell component. The battery cell lets you model detailed physical processes of the battery through empirical and experimental data provided in lookup tables. It supports both simple and very detailed implementations, based on the data you provide. Thanks to all the included functionalities, battery management system testing, cell monitoring, and module balancing testing, as well as modeling of applications that require a detailed, high-fidelity model of the battery, are now easier than ever. Let us know your thoughts on this feature. Thank you for watching.